Welcome. My name is Brene King. As the advisor for the National Honor Society, I would like to welcome and thank you for being here as we celebrate and recognize the current members and the inductees of the Isabel Bacon chapter of the National Honor Society of Swain County High School. Before we begin our ceremony, I would like to acknowledge and thank several people who have helped make this video possible. Brian Thomas and his digital media class for creating this video. Joe Holt for overseeing that it was possible and offering to step in whenever needed. Thank you to all school employees from the maintenance staff to the secretaries and other support staff, as well as to the teachers and administrators. You have all helped mold these students into the rem remarkable young men and women they have become today. Now, if I could speak to the parents guardians and other special family members of the students for a moment. Without your encouragement and support, most of these students would not be where they are today, being inducted into an organization which demands of them to not only be scholars, but expects him or her to possess leadership skills, for each of them to have impeccable character and also to be willing to freely give of their time. You are all to be commended for a job well done. It is my pleasure to introduce the current NHS members as they are preparing for their upcoming graduation. We cannot be more proud. It has been a hard year on all of us, but especially them. It certainly was not the senior year they imagined when entering Swain County High School four years ago. However, this deserves a special recognition to Principal Blankenship as she has gone above and beyond to make sure it could have been the best senior year. She made sure that each, of, each and every one of these students at our high school felt loved and appreciated. The current National Honor Society members are presently Dane Anthony, Hunter Ball, Jeffrey Bassett, Summer Davis, Rhea Dingle, Madison Dixon, Ruby Dyer, James Killebrew, Jenna Marr, Catherine Poss, Kiana Stevenson, Kaylee Stewart, and Emily Wilkie. But now, we would like to introduce you to this year's new National Honor Society inductees. First up, we have Hannah Brown. She is a daughter of Buzzy and Kelly Brown. She resides in the Shoal Creek community. Hannah has played basketball, golf, and is involved in the New Century Scholars. She plans to attend the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill or continue at Western Carolina University. Next, we have Phoebe Carnes. She is the daughter of Barry and Kelly Carnes. She is from Whittier. She is involved in marching band, Project Endeavor, Student Lighthouse Team, and Student Council. Phoebe plans to attend either UNCA or NC State and get a master's degree in wildlife biology. After this, she plans on becoming an animal educator and teaching the public about wildlife and the natural world. We have Kensley Chambers, daughter of Malcolm and Heather Chambers. Kensley resides in the Kirklands Creek community. She is involved in Project Discovery. Kensley plans on going to college for business and a management degree. Here we have Shara Dickerson, the daughter of Donald and Lisa Dickerson. She resides in the Kirklands Creek community. Cher is involved in the Marching Band Color Guard, where she has served as a captain for three years. New Century Scholars, Project Discovery, Vocal Ensemble, HOSA, and Track and Field. Cher plans to go to school with a reputable, reputable psychology program, such as UNC Charlotte, to achieve her master's degree and pursue a career in mental health. Jacob Dunford is the son of Jason and Patricia Dunford. He resides from Silva. Jacob is involved in the marching band, student lighthouse, and student council. He plans on attending a four university, possibly UNCA or UNC Charlotte. Next up, we have Stacy Griggs, daughter of Ronnie and Donna Griggs. She resides in the Lueda community. She's involved in softball, FFA, and New Century Scholars. Stacy plans on attending Maryville College and studying pre-veterinary. She then hopes to go on to attend veterinary school and become a large animal veterinarian. Will Jenkins, he is the son of Russell and Lori Jenkins. Will resides in the Whittier community. Will is an avid sports lover, playing three sports at Swain, basketball, golf, and baseball. He was a sophomore student council class representative. Will is an active youth member at First Baptist Church of Bryson City. He enjoys serving his community on mission trips with his church, youth group, and volunteering at the Giving Spoon. 
Will also will scoop your ice cream while working at Soda Pops. After graduation, he plans to attend a four-year university where he would like to study business and political science. In his free time, he enjoys spending time with family and friends and watching any kind of sports. Chloe Lambert, daughter of Heather Sanook and William Lambert. She resides in the Birdtown community. Chloe is involved in varsity football and basketball cheerleading, student council, interact club, and the AIG program. After high school, Chloe plans are to attend John Hopkins University, where she plans to study biochemistry. Isabel Lambert, daughter of Heather Sanook and Willie Lambert. She resides in the Birdtown community. Isabel is involved in cheerleading, the AIG program, and student council. After high school, Isabel plans to attend John Hopkins University and study pre-medicine. Next up is Avery Maples, daughter of Hannah Smith and Manuel Maples. Avery resides in the Whittier community. She is a member of both the band and soccer teams. Avery plans to go on to attend a four-year university. Next, we have Serena Patel, daughter of Sanjay and Rena Patel. She resides in the Bryson City community. Serena is involved in HOSA, Project Endeavor, Golf, and the Pratistas Group for Girls. Serena plans to attend a four-year university and major in some kind of science field. Here we have Angel Parsons. Angel resides in the Whittier community. She is involved in both basketball and golf teams. Angel plans to either go to NC State or Western Carolina University and obtain a degree in something related to either the math or science field. Next, we have Jane Perez, daughter of Donna and Guillermo Perez. Jane resides in the Schoolhouse Hill community. She has been a part of HOSA, Project Endeavor, Project Discovery, and has also played soccer, volleyball, and track and field. And here we have Allison Scheid, daughter of Jennifer and Michael Scheid. Allison resides in the Buckner Branch community. She is the pit captain of the Swain County High School Marching Band, a member of the Student Lighthouse Team. Allison plans to attend a four-year university to obtain a degree in political science as well as a degree in economics. One last congratulations, and also thank you. I congratulate all of you and remind you of your pledge to uphold the high purposes of this society, a society being defined as a structured community of people bound together by similar traditions. On this journey, if you start to feel overwhelmed, remember, you have advisors, teachers, and parents who are here for you. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch and welcome the newest members of this year's National Honor Society.